boys, boys, I've been doing this for a while now, and from all the emails I'm bombarded with and all the DMs, it seems like the main frustration guys have boils down to one singular problem, one singularity. That's that men don't understand women. We as dudes really have no clue what they like and what attracts them because our money, our looks, our fancy stuff, or our celebrity status will only take us so far. Here's the truth. Once you start understanding, almost everything that really attracts her, that really draws her in and connects you to you, it's completely free. Today, I'm gonna talk about those seven things so you can use them purposely, can use them intentionally, and attract the girl that you want. Let's hop in. Number one, being thoughtful. See, women love when they know that they're always on your mind. A great example of this is good morning messages. If you can send that girl a good morning message before she wakes up and do it sporadically, but often, this girl is gonna be so emotionally attached and attracted to you that it doesn't matter if you drive a Lambo or a Civic, she's gonna think you're the sexiest guy in the world in her eyes. Now, here's a fair warning. Don't be the nice guy. This only works if this girl is already somewhat attracted to you. The reality is if the girl has zero attraction to you and you're sending her good morning and good night messages and telling her she's beautiful all the time, now you just look creepy and like the nice guy and at that point most girls just find it annoying. Number two, being well-rounded. Just be a fountain of information. And the only way to do that is by constantly learning. The truth is that women are attracted to power and knowledge Knowledge is power, my friend. You don't have to be physically strong or be getting into fist fights. You have this strong, women are gonna melt. That, that makes them weak and the knees. Because the reality is, there's a lot of boys out there. There are very few men. Men are knowledgeable. And I know what you're thinking, oh, I don't have any college experience, or I dropped out of college, or I don't have the money to go to college, or I don't like school. Buddy, school is not the only way to learn new things. You got the power of the internet. You got audiobooks. You got stuff like our sponsor Skillshare. It doesn't matter what you want to learn how to do, whether it's photography. Maybe you want to learn how to mix music. Maybe you want to learn how to write poetry. Maybe you want to learn how to sing, how to play an instrument. Dude, literally, whatever you can fathom that you want to learn, our sponsor Skillshare has a class that will teach you exactly what you need to know to expand your knowledge and become more well-rounded. Whatever it is, whatever you wanna be proficient on, maybe you wanna build your own business, build your personal brand. The talents and knowledge is almost limitless on Skillshare because they have thousands of classes that are being taught by professionals in that field that are successful in whatever it is that you wanna be successful in, and they're teaching you those classes so you then can become more knowledgeable. And here's the crazy part. Like I said, let's say you don't have money. You don't wanna go to college or whatever. Well, you could try Skillshare for free, at least for the first 500 dudes. The first 500 dudes that are smart enough to know that expanding on their knowledge is not just for attracting girls. That is just an awesome side effect. Expanding knowledge is for their own well-being. For those first 500 dudes, if you click the link down below and sign up, you're gonna get the first two months of Skillshare. Two months? for free. You gotta be fast and be one of the first ones to click and sign up. You really got zero to lose and everything to gain. After that, you can sign up to Skillshare, depending on the program you choose, it's around 10 bucks a month, but even at that price point of around 10 bucks a month, it's crazy affordable and 100% worth it knowing that you're expanding your knowledge. So if you guys wanna check out Skillshare and expand your knowledge, become well-rounded to be more attractive, click that link down below. Number three, when you're emotionally strong. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't cry. I think that's also unattractive. But what it means is that you can't be emotionally needy or annoying or easily offended. I feel like our generation gets offended by the stupidest things when the reality is, well, we're men. And you shouldn't let another person's words affect your mood and your mental state. You are valuable and you should know how valuable you are because that emotional strength is what makes you attractive. Number five, your grammar. Ask yourself this question. When you're texting her, is she texting a boy or is she texting a man? Are you bombarding her with swear words, calling her a dude or a bro, bombarding her with LOLs, or using improper punctuation? She's just gonna think you're another boy that she's talking to and she ain't gonna be attracted to you. Women are attracted to maturity. That's why women, most women, are attracted to guys that are of older age. Your grammar is a direct representation of how mature you are. Number six, your presence. And here's the sad part. 
most guys are either so fully enamored by this chick that they're just staring at her like a piece of meat, worshipping her, or completely ignoring her. All of which are killing your attraction to her. She knows you're not paying attention to her, and instead are in love with her, could care less about her, or just wanted to bang her. However, if you can be fully present with her, with great eye contact, amazing listening skills, and having a conversation that's interruption free, this will give her a sense of feeling deeply seen and appreciated. Number six. Being spontaneous. If your girl can predict every single move down to the T from the words you're gonna say, the moves you're gonna do, and even your sexual moves, you are in trouble, buddy, because the death of attraction is predictability. The truth is she's just gonna get bored. So change it up, take her out on a different date, something you wouldn't do before. Get her flowers just because. Tell her she's beautiful just because. Or maybe just show her off. Women love to be shown off. Do things you wouldn't regularly do to infuel that passion back into her and make her attracted to you. And finally, number seven, leadership skill. You see, women love when you take control and you're decisive because they'll just sit in the back and they're thinking, man, that's my man. And they're just gonna let you work and the truth is you're not even trying but you're attracting her. And this primitively makes sense because men with good leadership qualities are almost always the alpha dog. Other men, well they submit to them. And that gives them power. That power is what she's attracted to because it gives her a sense of security and protection. And that's basically it for today's video guys. Those are seven things that you don't even realize is attracting you. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor Skillshare if you guys want to check it out and get that free two months. There's going to be a link down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.